What is up ladies and gents, it is T-Wolf here and I figured I'd go over uh, a little bit about myself, who I am as a person, um, you know, uh, it's, it's nice that there's, um, it takes less than 12 minutes, you answer is honestly, even if you don't like the answer and uh, try not to leave any neutral answers, so a neutral answer is where you just don't answer it. Um, well, there's personality types, we can go over that, analysts, um, you got these four different types of analysts, diplomats, sentinels, explorers, that's it. So that is 16, I think if I count that right, yeah, 16 different types of personalities. Um, don't want to do that. Okay, so let's let's get into this um, you find it you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people um, well no not really I mean I could introduce myself to anyone pretty much I think uh, there is sometimes where I've been intimidated in the past but now I just kind of throw that under the rug um, so no it's not it's not a big deal at all uh, you often get so lost in thought that you ignore or forget your surroundings no I don't know. I don't get lost in thought. I mean, or not not that I ignore or forget my surroundings. No, no, it's impossible for me. Um, so you try to respond to your emails as soon as possible, and you cannot stand a messy inbox. Hmm. Well, I uh, yeah. I yeah. Mm. I I cannot. So if you look at my inbox right now, it's probably got like three emails in it. I completely always look at them and throw them away. <laughs> so yeah, I can't. I cannot stand a messy inbox. Um, it would drive me nuts. So uh, you find it easy to stay to stay relaxed and focus, even when there is some peer pressure or not peer pressure. What am I saying? Pressure. Just some pressure. Regular pressure. Uh, intense 60 psi um, yeah I find it pretty easy to stay relaxed and focused uh, I, 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 I'm gonna put it right here because I mean there's sometimes where the pressure is too hot and I lose my focus but it's not very common um, you do not usually initiate conversations isn't that like the first one uh, well I mean kind of that's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, I, I usually, mm, I'd say about this one, because you know, some of the times I do, some of the times I don't. But uh, most of the, most of the time I do actually, um, just out of sheer curiosity. Which brings us to our next one. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Hmm. Uh, I think I do. I think I do a lot. Um, I'm always curious, but we'll leave it. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Here. Uh, you feel superior to other people. Negative Ghost Rider. Never. I've always been raised to, you know, respect everyone and. Uh, show love and respect. I just said respect. I don't know why I said it twice, but yeah, it's just uh, I never felt like I'm. I mean, I even even in a leadership position, everyone's a man first, you know. Everyone's a person first before uh, you start. You can command them, you know. Um, being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. No. Uh, being adaptable is more important, uh, definitely. Because, I mean, I do want to be organized, but sometimes organization just does not follow through. So you got to be adaptable in those times. Uh, you are usually highly motivated and energetic. Mm, yeah. I'm going to say... I'm going to say this one. There's... No. I'm going to say this one. I mean, there, there are some days where, you know, I feel a little sluggish and just don't feel like getting up and going, so. I just, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, winning a debate matters less than you than making sure no one gets upset. Hmm. Yeah, I slightly agree with that. I'm just gonna I slightly agree with that because, you know, there there are some times when they are just wrong, you know, and and I just can't stand for it. But, um, yeah, sometimes I might. It, it, I could. It, I would never go to the extent to, to where I'd lose a friend. But yeah. I could agree with that. You often feel as if you justify yourself to other people. Oh, as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Hmm. No, I'm more of like. I'm gonna say this one. I'm more of like a. It, if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. And you know, I'm I'm down with that. You know, because people have their opinions and. I must, I'm just going to respect them. I'm just going to respect your opinion. Um, I don't need to prove myself to anyone. I've, I've accomplished everything I've ever wanted to do in life. and I'm happy. So no, I don't need to justify myself. Uh, your home and work environments are quite tidy. Heck yeah. I'm going to leave it at that one. Because sometimes it does get a little out of hand. But I think that's because I'm a neat freak. So yeah. I'm going to leave it right there. Sounds like the perfect, perfect area. Alright. You do not mind being at the center of attention. Uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes it's a good center of attention. Sometimes it's a bad one. Um, I'm going to say disagree actually. Because I hate being at the center of attention. You know, right here. Let's see, more disagree, because I feel like some, some people, sometimes if I'm in the center of, if, if I am the center of attention, um, I feel like some other person, thing, is more worthy of it than I am, because, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I just feel like, you know, there's other things to be looking towards than me. You know, even if I won the Nobel Prize, I'd probably be looking at the next thing. Um, you consider yourself more practical than creative. Hmm. Very, very, very good question. Disagree. I'm going to say disagree. Slightly disagree. Um, sometimes I'm, I am a bit practical, but I feel like... The creative side of me is, is, is more intense because I, I could tell you that back when I started playing video games, I would spend hours on hours on hours on Halo 3 just grinding out maps, getting better at them. I could, I could have probably made maps for Bungie back then. They were so good, I had it down to a T. Like the lines, everything was in perfect. The sim, it was symmetrical. Yeah, I'm, yeah. That's that's say I'm more creative. Oh, that one changed. Um, people can rarely upset you. Uh, yeah, strongly agree with that one. If you upset me, then heck, then bravo, cause. It's a really, really hard thing to do. Uh, your travel plans are usually well thought out. No, I just get up and go with it. Yeah, I'm just I pick a day and go. It's that simple. Um, it is often, often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. I'm gonna say slightly agree. Sometimes it's just hard for me to pick up on other people's feelings. Um, but, you know, I, I acknowledge it. I acknowledge it when I do it. And um, sometimes, most actually most of the time, I acknowledge, I, I acknowledge it when I do it and I, and I apologize for it. But I would say it's not that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, your mood can change very quickly. 
Um, some, I agree. I'd agree with that. Sometimes it can change very quickly. Um, no, I'm going to say disagree. Not that quickly. Not very quickly, but quickly. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, yeah. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Ooh, that's a strong one. I'm going to have to go with this one right here. Yeah. Because we, we talked about this earlier. Um, it depends on what it is, though. Because if we're talking something like a political agenda for some for some reason, it's it's all up for your opinion. Your opinion is your opinion regardless. But if it's like, my shirt's green, and you're saying it's red, no, it's green. Get it straight, all right? But yeah, just to, I'm gonna leave it right here instead. Because, yeah, sometimes it's just, it's all up for debate, it's your opinion. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Um, no, I'm going to disagree with that uh, right there because uh, I'm always a people pleaser. I'm a big people pleaser. I always look out for other people before myself. Uh, your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. Case in point. <laughs> uh, you are often envious of others. No. No, I'm going to... I don't think I'm envious of anybody. Um, I'm glad of the person I am. An interesting book or a video game is often better than a social environment. Ooh, very, very interesting. That's a tough one since I'm a gaming channel. So, I do like to hike, I like to camp, I like to go out and enjoy the social events, but I feel like most of the time someone invites me to a social event, it's to a bar. So I'm gonna say this is a bar, hypothetically. I'm going to say agree because I do not do bar scenes too much. Uh, being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Um, disagree. Adaptability. Because sometimes the plan follow, you know, plan just disintegrates and you have to come up with a new plan or a backup plan, a different strategy, a different approach. I'm gonna have to disagree with that. You rarely get car you rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Rarely, that's the key word. Um, I want to say agree because sometimes I do. I just uh, I think about things, I get lost in thought, and I just completely become oblivious of things. Oh, that was a previous question, but it's rare. Like sometimes I just think about my future, and uh, I feel like I'm contradicting myself. But sometimes I do. Um, you often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature. Never, no. I'm always having fun in nature. I'll climb trees, heck. I'm, I just enjoy it. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Mm, no. No. I don't worry. It might take them a couple days. Sometimes people don't realize that they got an email. So uh, if they don't, if they don't message me in a week, then I just send them another one. It's not a big deal. MBD. Uh, as a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind and smart than smart, kind, than smart. Ooh. Um, no. Uh, rather have them both. 
I'm gonna be neutral on that one. Kind. I'd rather have my my kid kind and smart, not not kind than smart. Um, you do not let the other people influence your actions. Do not let other people influence your actions. Hmm. Uh, agree. Agree. Yeah. I'll make a decision and go with it. Your dream your dreams tend to focus on real world and its events. Disagree. Nah. Sometimes it's in a video game. Sometimes I I have a dream inside of a video game and I go through and do and, and complete it. Alright, next. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Hmm. Um, new workplace, so. I um, don't know. I'm gonna say this one. Because sometimes I'll just go out and get to know the people that I work with. Uh, you are more natural improviser than a careful planner. Definitely. 100%. Improvise on the spot. That's the way I go. Um, what is that? What is it? Uh, we'll do it live. Okay. Well, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. Your emotions control you more than then you control them. Hmm. Disagree. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. Mm, no, not really. I mean, I wouldn't mind going to one, but I, I'm not. I'm not looking to go for one. You know what I mean? You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Yeah, sometimes I like to do that. I just like to think of the unimpossible and how it could be possible. <laughs> I know, right? Crazy. Uh, you would rather improvise, improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Yeah, I think that's a. I think that's a. Uh, an, the exact same question as this one right here. Uh. You rarely reserve. You are relatively reserved and a and quiet. Per Fuck! I can't speak today. You are relatively reserved and quiet person. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'd say. Yeah. Sometimes I like to sit back and just observe what's going on in my surroundings. If you had a business. You would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. Hmm. Agree. Cause you know, they've been they've been with the company for so long and Jared, you know, he's he's always on time, but you know, he has been getting complacent complacent, so I feel like I could uh I, I feel like I could, you know, give him a stern talking to and turn him around. Uh, you often contemplate the reasons for human existence. No, I don't. Don't really think about it too much. I probably should, though. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Um... Yeah, mm. sometimes you follow your heart. I'm going to go with this one. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Yeah. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support that suggests ways to deal with the problem. Yeah, I could agree with that. Yeah, I could agree with that. You feel ins uh, you rarely feel insecure. Disagree. All right, speed round. Let's do this. You have no difficulties coming up with personal t 
timetable and sticking to it. Um, disagree? You have no difficulties coming up? Yeah, agree, agree. Uh, being able to, um, being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Disagree. Yeah, teamwork's always number one. Teamwork is key. Um, you think that everyone's view should be respected regardless of whether they are support supported by facts or not. Mm, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Your, your, your view is your view, and I have to respect that. Uh, you feel more energetic after spending time with groups of people, with a group of people. Excuse me. Um, definitely. Oh yeah. You frequently misplace things. Mm, disagree. I already I always know where I put stuff. You see yourself barely, very, oh barely. What the heck kind of word is that? You rarely, you see yourself very emotionally stable. Yes. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Yes. Um, you, you would not call yourself a dreamer. Hmm, highly disagree. I always dream. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Hmm, disagree. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imaginations. Hmm. Mmm, that's a hard one. Disagree. Mm, no. Agree. Yeah, I'm gonna say agree. You worry too much about what other people think. Mm, disagree. Um, if the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, and avoiding the center. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like to be crowded. Uh, you have a tendency of to procrastinate until there's nothing there's not enough time to do everything mm. No Usually do things right at the right at the moment right at that moment You feel very anxious in this in stressful situation uh, Excuse me. I just burped. Ooh, that was ooh. oh Lord Uh. You find it very, you, you feel very anxious in stressful situations, no. Um, you believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Yes, definitely. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things. E, uh, an example, books, arts, and movies. Yeah, I could agree with that. Uh, you often take initiative in social situations. Yes. There's some times where there's an other guy that wants to take charge, but, you know. I am, my personal personality type is a campaigner. My mind is 64% extro, uh, extroverted. Uh, my energy is 52% intuitive. My nature is 73% feeling. Um, my tactics is 61% prospecting over 39% judging. Wow. Um, my identity is 78% aggressive. Uh, what do you mean life is boring? We Are we living on the same planet? Nice. Start reading. What does this say? Uh, it, does, it doesn't interest me what you do for a living i want to know I, oh shoot i just read that wrong i want to know what your ache what you ache for and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart longing it doesn't interest me how old you are i want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love for your dreams for the adventure of being alive it's pretty interesting You can change the world with just an idea. Don't lose that little old spark of madness. Hmm. Well, I am a campaigner. 
word. All right, that's it for this one, uh, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this. Got to a little, got to know a little bit more about the man behind the mic. You know what I mean? Now I'm saying. All right, so if you like this video and you want to see more of uh, me doing these fun little uh, questionnaire kind of things, just leave a comment down in the description. I appreciate everything you all have done for me for these past few months. And I just want you to know that I love you with all my heart. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed and fun night. Peace. Thank you.